And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Proceratosaurus, which it's kind of mentioned in Jurassic Park because we're going along with the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World theme and covering dinosaurs that are mentioned in the series. <laughs> Even ones which are only written on, say, an embryo cooler in Jurassic Park. Such as Proceratosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Just as a random example. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Proceratosaurus was a theropod that lived in the Jurassic in what's now England, and it was found in 1910 in Minchin Hampton during an excavation for a reservoir. They found a partial fragmentary skull of a subadult. Its name means before Ceratosaurus, you may have guessed, the pro part. And the species name is in honor of F. Lewis Bradley, who found the specimen. And that species name is Proceratosaurus bradleyi. That's the type species, too. Arthur Smith Woodward first described the skull as Megalosaurus bradleyi. It was part of that wastebasket taxon, as many were. At the time Woodward described the skull, it was the most complete theropod skull known from Europe that wasn't crushed and hard to study, like some Compsognathus and Archaeopteryx skulls. Woodward thought that it was an ancestor of Ceratosaurus, hence the name, and then Frederick von Huene agreed in the 1930s with this interpretation, though he thought that both were a Silurosauria. Frederick von Huene renamed Megalosaurus bradleyi to Proceratosaurus bradleyi because of its nasal horn, which was similar to Ceratosaurus. Huene originally used the name Proceratosaurus in an illustrated phylogenetic scheme in 1923, and then officially named it in 1926. Proceratosaurus was thought to be an ancestor to Ceratosaurus because they had a similar small crest in their snouts, but now it's considered to be a Silurosaur and one of the earliest Tyrannosauroidea, which are basal relatives of Tyrannosaurs. Scientists re-examined all this in the late 1980s, and Gregory Paul thought that Proceratosaurus was a close relative of Ornitholestes because of the crest on the nose, though later it was found that Ornitholestes did not have a nasal crest. Paul also thought Proceratosaurus and Ornitholestes were primitive allosauroids, and that the theropod Pivotosaurus was a junior synonym of Proceratosaurus, but it was later found that those two are two distinct genera. A phylogenetic analysis in the early 2000s found that Proceratosaurus was a Silurosaur. In 2010, Oliver Rauhut and others published a reevaluation of Proceratosaurus and concluded that it was a Silurosaur and a Tyrannosauroid and most closely related to Guanlong, a Tyrannosauroid from China. Proceratosaurus was small, it was about 9.8 feet or 3 meters long, and it was carnivorous, it had serrated teeth. It had small premaxillary teeth, the ones in the front, and large lateral teeth, the ones on the side and it had enlarged nostrils and a head crest. It had a highly pneumatic skull, that means it had a lot of holes. And like other theropods, it was probably bipedal and had a long tail. You can see the type specimen in the London Museum of Natural History. It's a good museum, I hear. It is. 